Okay, back on this hand. I'm going to spend a little more time on this arm here than I will on the other arm because I think I can point out a few things here to to help you make your make your arms and hands and everything look more realistic. First, let's talk about you know the lower part of the arm right here because that's what we're working on now. We won't really work on the upper part until we actually attach it to the figure. Okay. So, all right, when you're wearing a shirt, hope he's not coming for me. When you're wearing a shirt and your arm is hanging down, the cloth on the arm will hang more on the back than it will on the front. Now, if you bend the arm this way, then the weight of the cloth will shift forward. So, there will be less back here than there will up front. Now, if it was hanging straight down, it would no doubt be equal on each side. Well, this guy will be holding his arm just about like that. Gee, maybe they are coming for me. See if he turns in here. Nope, went on by, safe again. So anyway, so what we want to do is we want to make this area right here a little less than this area back here a little balance it out. So we'll just carve away this right here, make it more rounded looking. Get that chip off of there. There, that's about what we want. Now on the elbow. Naturally the elbow is pressing against the back of the cloth so where it presses it will dip in right here. Just like that, okay? Okay, now we can add some wrinkles here. Don't need, need too many, just a few. Especially back here, because once we glue that arm on, we're not going to be able to work in this area anymore. I like to put one, just a little nick there right in between them. Doesn't need to go all the way up. It just adds that much more to the piece. Yeah, so we got that. Now, well, the wrinkles on the side here. If you just take your knife and you come in like that and you just dip it out like that. See there, we create a little wrinkle there. Sorry, I'm not jerking it around. Okay, here. So there we just created an overlap. We can do the same thing here. We'll do it again. We we'll come in on the low side of it, carve up. Take out that little neck. See there? It creates an overlap, a little blouse, as they would say in the military. from the 
evenness of the thing. I'm actually assured it's going to be buttoned right there, so I'm going to make the cuff or the split. side overlaps the other side so remember that you don't want just a V cut there you want that one side to actually look like it's going underneath the other one like that and you just continue on down oh. that. So we got that done. Alright, let's just hold it on there and see what it looks like. Looks pretty good. Okay, getting back to the hand. Took my time. So what we want to do here is we want to bust through three to hold. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to reach for your drill and drill a hole through here. Because if you do, you're going to bust your hand, believe me. I speak from experience. So let's dig deep here. with that because that'll bust off if not. We can go ahead and indicate the muscle of the thumb right here. Take out that chip. Another thing on the hand, remember your hand, it's not straight across. Your knuckles don't go straight across. They curve, gentle curve. Sort of see this this one here is shorter than that one there. A little longer than that one there, and definitely longer than this one here. So when you're carving, make sure you get that curve. It just looks so much better than if that thing is just straight across, because straight across isn't natural. All right, so we got we got daylight through there. So now I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna get my Dremel. Now a Dremel's different than a drill because it doesn't have those uh, real sharp teeth like a drill does so a dremel will go right through here and won't tear anything up but that drill believe me it will just rip the heck out of your hand when you're doing that so I'm going to go drill that now keep my eye on the time here got my old dremel here just got an eighth inch uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah.
So there, I got my hole through there. I can do the rest by hand. Don't want to increase the possibility of busting things. And you saw how the Dremel grabbed it. Grabbed that wood when I first put it in there and just jerked it forward. Well, you can imagine what a drill would have done if it had grabbed it. Okay, so we got our hole through there. So before I detail the hand, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to position my arm That's about what I want. Just a relaxed, relaxed hole in there. Let's take a peek. It's close to his side. That's about right. But this is too rough here because I cut that on the bandsaw. So that's too rough for a good gluing surface. I've sanded this down so it's ready. So now what I have to do is sand this down and I'll do that now. Okay, I've got this sanded down smooth now. To match that there, that'll give me a real good glue, glue, tight glue joint. So what I want to do now is I want to drill a hole in here. It should be about right there. Don't go too far. I'm using my patented method of transferring hole locations. Position the arm on there. Press it and give it a little twist. There, right there's the hole. So now we're going to drill this one. Take my glove off here. Alright, it's got me a little 1 8 inch dowel here. Stick that in there. Position the arm where we want it, which is just about right there. Okay, now we can take our pencil What I'm marking here is overlaps. This will show me what I can cut off. Okay? Take that off. See there? There's the shape of the arm where it hits the uh, hits the piece. Here's the part we need to cut off to match it up. Now what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to glue or carve any of this area up in here until I get this thing attached and glued on there permanently. Because I want that arm to look like it's part of this piece right here. Okay? So our time is now 14 minutes and 20 seconds and we're bumping it up against the wall here. So knowing where that arm hits, I can now go ahead and finish whittling this area here. Getting it ready. For the attachment. Do you understand, I hope? And the way you can hide these lines is just being smart and using folds in the cloth to disguise them. Because a shirt will naturally do this when your arm's next to your body. You won't be able to see that, but it's painted and everything's put together. And the same thing will apply here when we do do the arm get ready attachment. But the, we've reached the limit of our video time now. So uh, in the next one we'll go ahead and we'll finish our hand 
and then we'll attach the arm, glue the arm onto the body and uh, move on from there. So, until next time, I'll talk to you later.